Hey everybody, my name is John from Community Life Church and this is Meals Ready to Eat from the Bible. We would really appreciate a like and subscribe. Hey everybody, today's episode is the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 21 through 22 and verse 28. God has committed to us to spread the message of the Gospel and he's given us the authority and the influence to do so. So we're going to look at these two words, authority and influence, to see what they mean in the context of gospel and in our lives. Let's get today's scripture up on the screen here. This is Matthew, excuse me, Mark chapter 1, verses 21 and 22 and 28. They, they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and began to teach. They were amazed at his teaching, for he's teaching them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Immediately the good news about him spread, this is verse 28, everywhere into all the surrounding district of Galilee. Again, that's verses 21, 22, and 28, 28 from the uh, Gospel of Mark. Let's take a look at this. Let's break it down and see exactly what God is saying to us, to you, and to me today in this passage. First of all, Jesus is going to the synagogue. Jesus is going to the place on the Sabbath where the Bible is preached and the people worship God. Nowadays we call it going to church. The important thing to see here is that Jesus went to where the people gathered. Even though the religious hierarchy of that ran the synagogues often opposed him, and Jesus still attended. Very important point. When Jesus spoke, his words reflected his authority. Another way to say this is he spoke with godly influence. This is how Jesus chose to speak. He had the freedom and the power to do so. Godly influence is an important thing. We often overlook it and think, well, I cannot speak because it's not my place, or I am not trained, or I am not gifted, or I don't have a title and all that stuff. We do need the godly influence we already possess as followers of Jesus. How do we know we possess it? Well, it's in the Bible. Let's go take a look a little further. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, says, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for his name's sake. That's the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 5. We all have received. When the call goes out and we respond, we receive grace and apostleship. What is apostleship? It's being sent with a message and taking the influence of the sender to the people we speak with. We take the influence of the one who sends us to this people we speak with. Is this influence worth having? Uh, yes, it is. Let's look at what happens when we speak and live expressing godly influence. Here's what it says in Mark 128. We already read this. But immediately the news about him spread everywhere into all the surrounding district of Galilee. The message spread, the news spread, based on the influence and authority that Jesus has, based on the authority of his words, the gospel message spreads. There's even more to it than that, though. Here's what Jesus said just before he was crucified. This is the Gospel of John, let's see, chapter 14, verse 12. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. Again, that's John 14, chapter 14, verse 12. Jesus is giving us his authority so that we can have even more influence than he had. It's amazing. Because of this, the influence of Jesus is now greater than it has ever been, and it is growing all the time. So let's read more about this in the Bible. Again, we're talking about us having the influence and authority of Jesus. Now all these things, this is 2 Corinthians 5, 18 through 19, now all these things are from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us gave us the ministry of reconciliation, namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Now listen, not counting their trespasses against them, and he has committed to us, committed to us, the word of reconciliation. Jesus has given us a task, you and me, have a task from Jesus, and is bringing the gospel message to the world <coughs> through the authority and the power that he has given each one of us. Not just for the special people, not just for the famous Christians that have authority. It is for all of us. It's not just for the people who have a million followers on YouTube or Instagram or wherever you may see them. It's for each and every one of us. That is why God is saying through Paul when he writes, he has committed to us, to you and to me. It is, the, it is us, the members of the local church, that are doing the work of Jesus. But, well, but... We cannot get ahead of God. It is by his grace and through the working of the Holy Spirit that all of this is done. 
one more but, but we have to know that he is working through us, and that is good news. If you want to know more about Jesus and how to live for him, check us out at clchurch.cc. That's clchurch.cc. We meet Sunday mornings at 1030. We also have lots of videos during the week. Check them out on our YouTube and Facebook pages. You can get to them from our website. Once again, thanks for listening. Hope to see you Sunday morning.